Hey y'all, a while back I did a video on how to make a distressed or worn effect in Photoshop. This is an updated and much better way of getting it done. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, that distressed is this kind of worn out faded image right here. So to start with, we need two images. The first one is the one that we're going to actually do the distressing on. And the second one is what's going to be used to make our distress wanted to start with a marine logo here just to give a shout out since we're close to the fourth to all of our uh, service men and service women one thing that you may notice is I've actually put a background layer on here this was a transparency and even if you're going to have a final product with a transparent background it's always good to have that white background just to see exactly what's distressing out and how it's going to look on the shirt or whatever material you're putting it on so to begin we're going to take our texture image here and we're going to go to image mode and we're going to change it to grayscale. Once we get it to grayscale we're going to discard all that color. We're going to go and blow the image out by hitting adjustments and curves. On the right hand side we've got the black, left is the white. We're going to grab this line, left click close to that high point there. We're going to drag it all the way up to the top and as you see the image gets darker. We're going to put as much contrast as possible by grabbing the line again on the white side here and we're going to drag this all the way down to the bottom. The more vertical this line becomes, the more blown out the picture gets and you can see kind of if we go all the way vertical just how much it's blown out. That's too much for me so I'm going to drag this back a little bit. The black parts are the parts that are actually going to get removed from our image so I like that. I'm going to hit OK. Normally I use shortcuts, but for this video I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you what exactly what I'm doing. Select All or Control A, and then I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to copy this, or Control C. I'm going to go back to my main image right here, and I'm going to add a layer in between these two, and I'm going to paste what I just copied into there. So once I paste it, you can't really see it because this top image is you know it's too dense so I'm gonna lower the opacity usually around 70 75 percent and now I can get a feel for what it's gonna look like as you see this black bleeding through that's too much you, you take out the whole RPS right there I've already worked with this image a little bit so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna turn this layer off and I'm gonna click on my distress layer I'm going to hit show transform controls and while holding shift and alt I'm going to drag this corner out and make this bigger because the part that I really like about this distressing are these horizontal lines right here. I'm going to move this over some and then I'm going to click OK and I'm going to take my transform controls off again and I'm going to turn my main image back on and now you can really see like this black part here is going to take out the rope or part of the rope and a little bit of that S and these lines are going to take this stuff out, but it's not going to do too much damage. So I'm going to turn this back off for just a second. I'm going to hit select. I'm going to go by color range. What I want to do is I'm going to click on the black part. And I usually keep my fuzziness right around 95%. But once you click on that black over there, hit OK. And you'll see all these marching ants. Come back to your main image make sure that you've got it highlighted and we're going to add a mask to it right here this is add mask now it's actually kind of inverted so this is what the final image would look like if we left it like that and we don't want that because you can't see anything so double click on the mask portion right here and we're going to hit invert once you hit invert now you can see that that stuff came out so we're done with that. You can actually turn off now this middle layer. Click that eye and you'll see what's getting distressed out. Let's turn our opacity back to 100% and if you were going to put this on like a white t-shirt let's say that's exactly what it would look like. You can always turn this off if you don't want it on a white t-shirt. You want it on something else. But for this video purpose I'm just going to leave it all on. Now all we have to do is go up here. We're going to hit file. We're going to save as and since you can save layers in PNG or portable network graphics, uh, just come down here, hit PNG, and save it as USMC logo. As you see, I've already got that, so I'm going to 
name it distressed and save always choose compression none and interlace none that will make the image as um, clear and perfect as possible so hit OK and that's all there is to it hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and I hope y'all come back